Hi everyone, it's Patty Behan and thank you for joining me in the studio. In this video, I'm going to show you how to draw and doodle with liquid pearls. It's another great way to accent your cards. So let's get started. So to begin, I have this card that I made here and I'm going to do a little doodling and outlining of the letters. And I'm going to be using first some white opal liquid pearls and I'm going to use this to outline the letters and it's a great way to outline straight from the bottle. A couple things you have to remember when you're doing this is you want to make sure that the liquid pearls is flowing freely. Sometimes air gets trapped in the bottle and you might have to take a paper clip or a pin to release the air and then it'll start flowing again if it's not flowing. Okay, so I, I just saw that it's coming out okay and I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to outline my letters here. It does take a bit of a steady hand. And then I'm going on the um, outside of the letters here. And I'm being quiet because I really have to concentrate while I'm doing this. And I just love the way that this makes the letter stand out. do it. Let me show you how that looks. And I'm not sure if you could see the pearl shine of it, but it looks really beautiful. And now I'm going to add a little bit more, um, some doodling on the outside. I feel like this looks great, but it's still like off balance a little bit. So that's why I wanted to add a second color and I'm going to outline the circle. And this is ocean blue. And again, make sure that it's flowing freely. And since we already have um, our liquid pearls in the center here, we have to be very careful. And I'm just going to go on the outside of the circle and I'm gonna make dots, dashes and a dot. And I'll just continue around the whole circle. And when you do this, it's more insurance that if it doesn't come out exactly straight, that you really won't notice it. So you could try to do a solid line around the whole circle. I say try it out and have fun. If you have a nice steady hand, you shouldn't have a problem doing it. But something about um, while you're filming, it's like you're really on the spot. So I'm taking the safe route this time. And then I'll just continue around. And when you get practice doing this, you can use it just to write freehand if you have nice lettering. And you can outline you know, stencils. I'm gonna show you other things that we've done. And as you can see, I'm turning the card as I go. This way, I'm less likely to put my hand in it. And how many times have you had a wet card where you put your hand in it by accident? You swear you won't do it, but you just do. That happens to me all the time. Even when you try to put it far away, sometimes when you put it far away, somebody else comes along and they just put their hand in it. So as you can see, when you do this method, you have pretty good control. And I think it's looking pretty good. I'm almost done here and then I'll bring it up to you. And 
just one more dot. And there you have it. That just finished it off perfectly. And look how pretty that is. Okay, so but now let me let this dry and let me show you some other things you could do. Here we put some bold lines on the stencil. We're, we were really generous with it. And this was some freehand doodling. We took the stamp and gave it the same kind of look with these hand-drawn flowers. This is really pretty. And this card is super fun. It's full of sunshine. And I love how this one came out. And here, this one, the pattern paper was outlined and that looks really nice. So those are just a few ideas and I hope you'll experiment and maybe come up with your own. And if you'd like to see more videos about liquid pearls, just keep watching.